uh, coach just talk about uh, blackout game uh, Thursday night, finally being back at the Passion Center. Well, it's always good to come back home, and particularly after a win. I think that um, you know we're all feeling a little energy here in the community right now. We expect a great crowd, and uh, I just hope we play well. We didn't play particularly well last time out at, at home against Rice, and uh, you know just because you're home doesn't mean you're going to win. With a limited bench, uh, Vince Hunter having foul trouble in the early game against Charlotte, uh, CJ having foul trouble in the last game, has this been something you have to re-emphasize this team, don't be in foul trouble? Or? Well, it's, it's all those minutes that our guys got in the Angelo State game, going back to the exhibition game that are, that are serving us well right now. You know, Aaron Jones uh, being able to play a bunch of minutes in that game, Aaron Jones playing uh, right now and, and getting uh, 16 minutes in the first half. It's beneficial. Jake Flaggart playing with confidence off the bench and our team not getting worse uh, when he comes in. Tevin Caldwell, uh, another guy who we had no expectations of this season, who has played uh, you know, very well in the minutes that he's been given. And uh, those are the things we're going to have to continue to rely on because the season's going to present all kinds of issues with injuries and or uh, you know, foul trouble. Coach, do you think Hunter gets attacked, or not attacked, but like pointed out by refs? I mean, there's a lot of fouls that just seem to be little, that he gets maybe a grudge with referees or something. But No, I, I don't think so. I think uh, early on it was a product of a guy who had never been in a stance before, you know, in high school, who was playing late. And, and his foul trouble and disqualifications came early in the season. Uh, then he went through a period where it bothered him, and he, he began to understand that if I stay in a stance and play early, I'll be okay. Uh, you know, a little slippage in, in the last ball game, but uh, by and large, since December 28th, he's, he's stayed out of foul trouble and he's played with composure defensively. And Coach, are you surprised at this winning streak and are you surprised at, at what you've been seeing out of this team over the last four or five weeks? Well, I, I, I wouldn't use the word surprised. I, I think I'm not any different than our fans that, that are, we're sitting back and we're watching a, a group of young freshmen who we had two years ago grow up and mature, John Bohannon, Cedric Ling, C.J. Cooper, Julian Washburn, and become very, very good college players. And then we're watching young guys uh, get confidence, Vincent Hunter and Jake Flaggart and Tevin Caldwell, and, and everybody, uh, you know, Matt Wilm, uh, playing well together because all it's about to them right now is, is winning. And uh, there, there are no personal agendas, and uh, they're having a lot of fun playing together. And, I'm sitting back like everybody else saying, okay, uh, tomorrow's going to bring a new challenge. Uh, can you guys handle it? Because it's all a series of first with these guys. Every, every game is a first. And what kind of challenge are the FAU Owls presenting? Well, you know, we don't know. I, I'm like our fans there too. I, I haven't seen these guys in person. And uh, we're, we're getting to know the two Florida schools uh, this week on film. Uh, good scores. They run great stuff. Um, they got a post guy that, that presents problems. They got a perimeter guy who's averaging 18 points a game. Um, you know, they, they'll, they'll present problems. Florida International, again, uh, new, new challenges with a great poster and probably the best driver, not only, uh, only in our league, but one of the better drivers in the country, in Tom L. Murphy. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll deal with them when we see them Saturday. Uh, Bohannon's been terrific. Uh, uh, Bohannon, uh, uh, we, we haven't dealt with uh, uh, a saga every day. We haven't dealt with anything other than a guy coming to practice and encouraging everybody else to work. Um, we're, we're watching a guy who understands that if I rebound it, I score. And um, a guy who's not trying to hit it out of the ballpark on every pass. You know, he's, he's, he's making good, safe plays, and as a result, assisting more than he's turning it over. Uh, he's, he's maturing as a player, and I only wish it would have happened two years ago. You know, we wouldn't have had all the drama around here, but he's become a very good player. Do you think that's the biggest improvement he's had from the freshman? Yeah, yeah, this year's been his biggest improvement by far. And, you know, for whatever reason, you'd have to talk to him about it. Is it the presence of Matt Wilm? Is it the presence of playing time with Vince Hunter? Uh, I don't know, but all I know is he's playing well. In your experience as a coach in the basketball, how special is this between all the teams you've been in uh, with this special situation? Of the players? Well, anytime you win, it's satisfying. You know, it's, it's the essence of what we try to do at, at, in coaching. You know, you try to win basketball games and you don't tend to feel as good after losses as you do wins. Uh, 
uh, we, we, we understand uh, where we are and we also understand that streaks uh, present their own sense, uh, their, their, own, uh, their own challenges and that uh, the assumption becomes is that you're perfect and that you're not making mistakes and you have no faults and we certainly still have faults and things that we have to work on to get better. How important as a fan support fan of both road games and road sweeps that you came back from? Fans were there at the airport, now it's time for them to show up here. At the well, game. that's what I, I was saying earlier. You, you, you feel that there's some energy going on in town. We, we felt it when we got back at the airport. We felt it yesterday going around town. And, uh, we got a young team in a lot of regards. Guys were counting on events and Matt, and, and that's why I think we have to have challenging practices. So we remain realistic and understand that uh, if we don't guard at a high, high level, that we, we don't win. Well, how, how special is it coming back home after sweeping against again on the road to sweep up teams? Oh, it's always good to come back home and play in front of, the, in front of the great fans that we have here. So it's always exciting when that happens. Having this win streak, do you guys feel a little bit more pressure to keep it on going? No, I, I really just think we're having fun out here, you know. Um, you know, every time we get to play, it's another fun opportunity and experience. So I don't feel like there's pressure. What kind of challenges Florida Atlantic coming uh, this Thursday here? Have you, have you seen us? Uh, yeah, uh, I think they got the conference's leading scorer, you know, uh, Barton. I think I'm saying that right. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a challenge for us to um, contain him. And, uh, you know, the rest of this team, they're, pre they're a pretty good team, you know, pretty underrated. Well, being a senior, what's been the biggest difference about this team from six weeks ago to your freshman year? From my freshman year? Like, what's been the biggest difference from not just six weeks ago, but all the way back to your freshman year? Why is this team being able to accomplish so much with everything that's happened? Oh, you know, um, I think we're just all buying in right now, you know, buying into everything the coach is saying. And uh, I haven't, you know, every time we come in the gym, we're just looking to get better and have fun. We're having fun and uh, getting better. So I think that's what's taking us with the difference between now and then. Are you surprised when you lose everything that's happened that this year between preseason and even during the season? Are you yourself as a player surprised at what you guys have been able to accomplish so far? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. You know, we got a lot of talent here, and we still do. So uh, I'm not surprised at that. Oh, is this most fun you've had as a player since you've been here? Yes, sir. That's, I'd say that for sure. You know, probably since my senior year of high school, it was probably the most fun I've had. What do you think Tyson is the best for your guys over your own field? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, can you also talk about just playing with all the big men on the floor at the same time? I mean, normally they always, you know, you see four guards, one big man. Now we see four big men, one guard. What's what's that like? Uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say that that uh, that uh, you know we're just a bunch of big guys. I mean, I think we're very skilled players. You know, everybody that we have out there in the starting lineup, and uh, you know, it, it's fun. We we just know how to play with each other, and we're we're growing. You know, we haven't been a as a team that long and we're just the chemistry is just getting better and better.